Welcome back to WDHN Daytime. This morning I'm joined live in the studio with Jeff Adams, who is the Community Relations Manager for Blue Cross and Blue Shield. And today you are here to talk about a school grant that could be giving some schools in the Wiregrass some money. So Jeff, thank you for joining me and I hope you're having a great day. I am, thank you for having me. All right, so t tell me a little bit about this grant, just the name of it, and then also just kind of the gist of what it is. Yes, uh, we call this the Be Healthy School Grant of mm -hmm. Blue Cross Blue Shield of Alabama. And what this is, you know, recently statistics show the incident of childhood obesity has increased dramatically. And of course, this leads to other problems, cardiovascular and, and other health issues, uh, type 2 diabetes. So this is an effort uh, where we partner with schools throughout the state of Alabama mm -hmm. uh, to help them in their efforts to uh, prevent childhood obesity. And, and if schools want to apply for this grant, what type of schools are eligible? And then where can they go to, to apply? Yes, uh, any school located in the state of Alabama that enroll at least one grade from grade 5 K through 6 is eligible and they can access the application at our website at alabamablue.com slash school grant. Awesome and is there any typical programs that you would want them to allocate this money for? Is it really anything that can kind of help healthy students get to access to stuff that they need? Well we ask that they address three stool, three legs of the stool. Uh, nutrition, exercise, and parental involvement. And the questions are laid out for them and we're awarding $10,000. We ask them to be specific. And uh, what would they do to help prevent childhood obesity? Uh, and so we look at each application carefully and then we'll award their grants in early May. Awesome, and what was, what was kind of, so from a Blue Cross Blue Shield perspective, what was, what was kind of the goal when you started this? What was the thing that kind of initiated this, this progress? Well, again, I think the statistics pointed to the fact that we were having issues with uh, kids and the childhood obesity, and of course, it, would le it was leading to those other issues I, I laid out, I laid bare for you. And we thought that if we could catch them early and help instill healthy habits in them, that this would lead to a lifelong change uh, so they will pay benefits down the road. Gotcha, and is this an open window all year long or is there a specific date in which schools need to apply for the grant? Well, we have extended the deadline to April 16th, so we still have about three to four weeks where schools can get their applications in. Awesome, and then do you guys have any programs similar to this, like obviously when school ends and whether it be late May or early June, that can kind of help students who don't have the access to the tools at home over the summer? Uh, right now we do not, okay. uh, but stay tuned, it, it, it could happen. Awesome, and then when you're talking about just, I guess some people, if, you, if you're not in the area where you don't necessarily don't have access to this, you don't really know how much kids actually that don't have the access to the opportunities need money for this stuff. Just how important is it to get the money allocated to schools so they can use it to help their students? Well, it's very important. Uh, for instance, throughout the state in some areas, uh, they uh, don't have the bare necessities such as balls mm -hmm. uh, and uh, uh, basketball goals, volleyball nets, and, and in other areas we're just uh, supplementing what they have. So it's going to depend on the need of the school. Gotcha. And then when you talk about why BCS started this, or Blue Cross Blue Shield started the initiative, was there initial, was there something you guys saw or was it just mainly off statistics as to why you want to start it? Well, it was the trend and of course being a health insurance company, mm -hmm. we like to stay aware of yes, uh, what's going on, and which we are aware, and we just thought this would be a wise investment and it has paid dividends since we started the program in 2012. Awesome, and then if, once again, we just go ahead and say the, the website that you can go ahead and apply for the schools and then also if there's another form of contact for Blue Cross Blue Shield to apply for the Grant. Yes, the website is alabamablue.com slash school grant or you can email me for additional information at communityrelations.org at bc, communityrelations <laughs> at bcpsl.org. Awesome, I appreciate your time for coming on the show again. This is Jeff Addis with Blue Cross Blue Shield.